All right, so opposing directions on wood floors here. Um, this was a little bit of a challenge. You can see there's actually a crack in the middle of the wood floor, uh, right where the light's passing across it. And they kept having the wood floors crack on this end. So only on the long end. So as wood floor expands and contracts, it really needs to try to have as large of an area. The reason why we get um, more warping from expansion in, a, in like a hallway is because it expands and it pushes against the walls. There's not enough expansion joint. But when you have a really, 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 really big area of wood going, let's say left to right, and then a small joined area of wood going from front to back, that expansion of the large room on the small perpendicular wood pushes pressure up against that wood and it actually will crack it. So this was actually crunching in and cracking that wood, it's giving way. So this is perpendicular wood, large space to small space, actually really nice wood floors cracking um, and the way to fix it. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an extra here. Extra time. So how do we fix this, right? So decorative transitions and wood floors. Um, we used to see it a lot where people would say, oh look, the dining room was picture framed. And the reason why that picture frame or that rail around it, that actually was there to offset that expansion and contraction. And many times that picture frame or the piece of wood they would put in there would be a softer wood. So that could basically fit into it. You know, where we also use a soft wood to help with expansion and contraction is in more historic pouring of concrete driveways and, and sidewalks. We used to use rosewood. Um, in between it. So you put a piece of rosewood between your expansion contraction. It would help push and contract. It's a really cool cushion wood. It's what we could also refer to it as. So that was actually what I recommended here was a wood, rosewood cushion between the two. And um, I don't know if they ever did it because it was going to require some, some cutting and refinishing. Um, but that's, we would actually, once again, use a historic building approach to correct a modern building deficiency.